Welcome to the Call Tracking Metrics video tutorial series. In this video, we will be taking a look at the Google Ads Direct Connect integration. Our Google Ads user interface helps simplify the process of mapping and sending conversions from Call Tracking Metrics to your Google Ads account. Before we review the setup process of the integration, it's important to know of several things. First, in order to access all of the functions within the Direct Connect integration, you need to have a user role of agency admin within call tracking metrics. Second, it's important to know that while we send the data to Google based on the settings you use, it can take time for Google to process the conversion, so it may not always be immediately visible within ads. Begin by navigating to the menu button, located in the top left corner of the screen. From there, select settings, and then tap on integrations. Once you're on the integrations page, click the settings button in the Google Ads integration. As you move to the next page, there will be a request for you to log in with your Google profile. Bear in mind, the Google profile you're utilizing must possess Google admin rights. Once you've clicked allow for the upcoming prompts, Call Tracking Metrics will try to establish a connection with your Google Ads account. Starting at the top of the page, there's a drop-down menu where you can choose the Google Manager account. This will allow you to map any accounts under that specific manager account. Alternatively, you can click on Link Google User if you're looking to add another Google Manager profile. Next, we will look at the Google Ads Customer Mapping section. This is the stage where we'll identify which call tracking metrics accounts will supply data to specific Google Ads accounts. You have two options for mapping your Google Ads accounts to your call tracking metrics accounts. You can manually link each of the accounts or you can use our Match Unassigned feature, which will automatically find and match the appropriate accounts. To manually link, you will click the button marked Link 1 Google Ad Account. The succeeding page will begin with you selecting the Call Tracking Metrics account you wish to link. After that, you'll be prompted to choose the Google Ads account where you intend to transfer the data. Once you have selected the accounts, you can move down to the Conversion Tracking section. Before we review the Lead and Sale Action section, we should explain what Call Tracking Metrics considers a lead and sale. Lead interactions are valuable because they represent users who have taken some action to engage with your business, indicating they may be considering a purchase. By setting up lead rules, you capture these interactions as lead conversions, allowing you to measure the effectiveness of your marketing efforts in generating interest and potential sales opportunities. Sale rules, on the other hand, are associated with conversions that result in actual revenue for your business. A sale conversion is a definitive action that confirms the customer has made a purchase or committed to a service. It's important to differentiate between leads and sales because each type of conversion represents a different level of customer commitment. Leads need nurturing to become sales, while sales are the end goal that reflects direct business success. By setting up separate rules for leads and sales, you can tailor your marketing efforts to both attract potential customers, leads, and convert them into paying customers, sales. You can allocate your budget more effectively, optimize campaigns for different stages of the customer journey, and ultimately improve your overall marketing strategy. Remember, conversions aren't just about numbers. They tell a story about how customers interact with your brand from the first encounter to completing a transaction. By capturing and analyzing both lead and sale conversions, you gain valuable insights into that story, which helps in making more informed business decisions. With that being explained, we will now review the Lead and Sales Action section. To select an existing conversion from your Connected Ads account, simply make a selection from the drop-down box in either section. Alternatively, you can tap on the Add button if you wish to generate a new conversion. Since our system connects directly to your Google Ads account, every conversion built from this platform is also mirrored in your Ads account. When creating a new conversion action, you will first have to add a name and then select a category. You will find several categories including a default category, phone calls, forms, and more. You can also adjust the currency code and value during this setup. Once you have created your new conversion action, you will now find it as a selectable option from the dropdown on the previous page. Next, you will find the additional conversion action section. These are optional for those who want to automatically separate online conversions from call extensions and mobile ad conversions. Call Tracking Metrics will identify mobile visitors by the presence of a G-Braid or W-Braid identifier instead of a Google Click ID. Similar to the previous process, you can either select an existing conversion action for these or create a new conversion action by clicking the Add button. 
To receive campaign attribution and send conversions for your ad extensions and click to call ads, you must have call reporting enabled within your Google Ads and for best results, enable it account-wide. You also need to select call tracking metrics as your third-party call analytics provider. To learn how to enable call reporting, go to support.google.com and search call reporting. After you've successfully mapped your accounts and configured your conversion actions, it's time to determine how call tracking metrics will transmit the data to Google. You have three primary methods for transmitting the data. Those options are triggers, lead and sales rules, and global triggers. Each has its unique advantages, influencing your decision to choose one over the others. The first method we will look at is using the lead and sales rules. This is the method we recommend for most users because it is a set it once process that will apply to all of the accounts mapped in the integration. You can find the lead and sales rules directly below the mapping section in the Google Ads integration. To begin, you will click on Add Workflow. The first section allows you to set conditions that will need to be met in order for the conversion to be sent to Google. A common example would be if talk time is greater than or equal to 60 seconds. This condition ensures that only calls that last for at least one minute will be sent to Google. Next, you can choose to track conversions to multiple ad platforms. Just know that you need to select at least one option. Otherwise, no data will be sent. Next, you can choose the attribution model you want to use. If you want to learn more about how each attribution model works, please review our Direct Connect article on our knowledge base. The last section is the sale value. By default, call tracking metrics will send a sale amount of one for each conversion sent, but you can adjust this to suit your needs. The second method of sending data to Google would be to use triggers. This method is recommended for users that have multiple accounts where each account wants to set their own rules and conditions for when data is sent to Google. To create your trigger, you will navigate to flows from the left side menu and then select triggers. If you have not set up a trigger on your account before, this will automatically take you to a new trigger setup page. If you have set up a trigger before, then you will need to click on new trigger in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Call Tracking Metrics has several presets for Google Ads, which you can find by clicking on the Use a Preset button found in the general section of the trigger setup. We recommend using one of them as your starting point and then customizing to fit your needs. The last method utilizes global triggers. In essence, global triggers are an efficient means for creating more intricate triggers that will be active across all your sub-accounts. Take for instance, a large agency having hundreds of sub-accounts aimed at three distinct areas, plumbing, roofing, and landscaping. They would establish three global triggers, each specifying what constitutes a successful conversion action for each of the three focuses. You can find the global triggers from the mapping section within the integration. Click on global triggers and on the following page, select new trigger in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. The setup is the same as setting up a normal trigger with the added function of being able to have it fire across all sub-accounts. Now that you have finished setting up everything, you can return to the integration at any time to view the reports to stay informed, or you can click on logs to view a list of conversions sent from call tracking metrics to Google. We will finish by showing the most common setup of the three main Google Ads tracking sources within call tracking metrics. First, we will look at Google Ads. To begin, navigate to numbers from the left side menu and then select tracking sources. From here, we will select new tracking source in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. We recommend using our preset called Google Ads. This tracking source is designed to look for any of the different methods Google will tag the session, including the Google Click ID, GBraid, WBraid, or UTM, which will be added anytime a customer clicks on your Google Ad and is then taken to your website. All you need to do is click Save and then scroll to the bottom of the page and select Edit Assign Tracking Numbers to assign the tracking number you plan to use for this source. Next, we will set up a source for ad extensions. Similar to the Google Ads source, we will navigate to Tracking Sources and select New Tracking Source. From here, we will once again use one of the presets created by Call Tracking Metrics called Ad Extension. Once you have saved the new tracking source and assigned a tracking number to it, be sure to then use that same tracking number in your Google Ad Extension. The final tracking source is Google My Business, which we recommend setting up two tracking sources for. The reason we recommend two sources is because Google My Business ads can feature both a link to your website and a click to call phone number. For the website link, we recommend using our Google My Business preset found in the tracking source setup. 
This will look for the specific tag that gets applied to a visitor's session after clicking on your Google My Business link. For the second Google My Business tracking source, you can once again select the, the same preset, but this time we will switch the toggle to off-site and then use a different tracking number both for the tracking source and on the ad. This will ensure that calls get attributed to Google My Business regardless of them clicking on your ad or clicking on the phone number. We hope this guide has helped you, and we recommend that you review both our knowledge base and our training center for more detailed information on any of the processes we discussed in this video. Thanks again for watching and be sure to check out some of our other videos to learn more about call tracking metrics.